My new camera is finally here. I ordered it the longest time ago, as soon as it was announced in April. It is now September, so I waited five months for it. And this is the ASI 2600MC Duo, the one with the built-in guider sensor. I do have the original 2600 MC with an off-axis guider on it. I always use off-axis guiders, so it was a no-brainer to, to try this out because it, it just makes life that much simpler, especially with my Rasa because I don't get to use an off-axis guider on that. That's the one thing I really don't like about the Rasa. I can't wait to open this. cables are red. In the box you get two USB 2 cables and two USB 3 cables, a long and a short one each. You also get two spacers, a 16 and a half and a 21 millimeter one. And they give you this tilt adapter. This is meant to go on top of the camera as it actually has the screws on the back. And while it's on without having to disassemble the entire thing, you can have access to the screws to completely flatten out your sensor, which is genius in my opinion. And then there's this extra knob coming out on the side, which when you have an image circle that is not corrected up to this size, and your, your focal plane will, it will not be a plane, it will be a, a curve surface. So you can like fine tune the focus with it. I wonder if this is gonna protrude enough to disturb me with the Rasa. The openings for the vents are now recessed. Before they were entirely flat, now they're recessed. It just looks different. The whole finish is also more matte, the anodization. They changed the writing because there used to be the brand and the model is now on the side next to the fine focusing thing. It's a big difference that it comes with an M54 tilt adapter plate with the M48 that the old one came with. It would just probably partially cover the height sensor. So it's ready the camera with the back adjustable tilt adapter installed. One benefit that I can clearly see is that this is kind of gonna mask out this focusing knob that is on the side and it is silver. I will never understand why they would do that um, because that is always going to reflect light. On the other hand, I'm pretty sure that this circle is gonna cover up some of the light in the light path of telescopes such as the Rasa, but I think that maybe the benefits that I will have from being able to adjust the tilt so easily will far outweigh the tiny amount of light that I might lose because of this. For a change, and very surprisingly, it is actually going to be clear tonight and over the next couple of days, so I get to try it out immediately. I'm very excited and I will post my images and my first findings very, very soon.